Final day of competition here at Kite Beach. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go to Punta Preta. That energy just didn't come, so we decided to run the, the competition here. Conditions were hard, but hey, best kite surfers on the planet made absolute destruction out on the water. Turn for turn, move for move. It was close in every single heat. In the first semi-finals of the day, we had Pedro Matos from Brazil versus James Guru. Both of these boys were throwing down from the start, but the power and the maneuverability and the style from the Aussie made him go through to the super final. That super light out there and there's no waves at all. I think it was like four waves that whole set, so it was hard. I'm out of path running up the beach, got stoked. In the final, do it. Then we had Machu Lopez versus Ayrton Cosolino, a Cape Verdean standoff. These boys have been back and forth. Both of them have been world champions. Machu cool and collected, winning by 0.2 of a point at the end of the heat. In the small final between Ayrton and Pedro, waves were very hard. Selection was key, like it's been throughout the whole event. Ayrton really putting in the extra moves, grabbing the waves up the top, linking out those turns and just edging past Pedro for third position. We're moving over to the super final here in Cape Verde. Ah! Both of the boys were throwing down turn for turn. James Carew, he was on the hunt for his first event win, but Machu Lopez is back from injury and has the energy in front of his local crowd. Wave for wave, turn for turn. Machu got the early advantage getting in the waves at the beginning, but then Mr. Carew woke up, got it in the fifth and the sixth wave, two sevens on the board, and crowns himself king of the TK Kite Surf World Cup in Cape Verde. Um, I felt really good coming into this comp. I've been training a lot, been training hard, and been working my ass off for this. So I felt like I was really ready for this comp. I felt like even if I do bad, I'm falling back on my training. So I'll be, I'll be alright. But I don't think we could have had any harder conditions. So all the boys were performing. Everyone was throwing down, and oh, it doesn't feel real yet. I don't feel like I won yet. This is, this has been a dream of mine for a while. I've been visualizing it so much. I don't know, it feels unreal, it feels unreal. So on the women's side, these girls are pushing the envelope of the sport. Every single event, they just get better and better and new faces appear out on tour. In the first semi-final, we had Mikaeli Sol versus Ines Correa. Mika starting to get into the surfing discipline, but the experience and the power from the Portuguese local here in Cape Verde means that she went through to the final. In the second semi-finals, we had our current world champion, Carlo Herrera versus powerhouse Perry Roberts. Wow, are the Aussies here on fire. Turn for turn, Carla tried to hold her back, but in the end, Perry made it through to the final. In the mini final of the girls, we had Mikaeli Sol versus Carla Herrera. Turn for turn, Carla had a little bit more style, a little bit more fluidity throughout the wave, edging out the young Brazilian, making her go into third position. For the super final of the ladies, we have been saying it for the whole event. Ines Correa, Perry Roberts. Both of these girls have a very similar style. They really power through the turn, huge in gaining bottom and turns, hitting the top as hard as possible. But local knowledge and the experience of the peak in these hard conditions mean that Ines Correa is the queen here in Cape Verde. Yeah, I'm super happy and super stoked with my results here in Cabo Verde because it's my second, almost my first home and most of the people who inspire me every day, they live here, they are from here, so it's super special to, to share with them the first place. What a way to finish the first event of the GK Kite World Tour here in Cape Verde. It's been different, but it's been amazing. Now it's time for the freestylers, the spin, the handle passes, the flare, the air. We are gonna be going over to Lukat in April, stay tuned.